Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Arias RBG, a.k.a. King Kong Consciousness, a.k.a. the Prince of Pan-Africanism. And I'm coming to you live and direct from FDMG Central. Today, my brothers and sisters, is the worst economic day in black America. Today is the worst economic day in black America. Did today... We collectively engage in economic slavery. Today, we collectively engage in the economic holocaust, brothers and sisters. Today is the economic holocaust for Africans of North America. Today is the economic holocaust for Africans of North America. Today is the economic holocaust for Africans of North America. America. So-called Black Friday. So-called Black Friday. I call it White Friday. I call it White Friday. I call it White Friday because all the money goes to white businesses, Arab businesses, Mexican businesses, Jewish businesses, Chinese businesses. We ain't got no institutions, but we out hemorrhaging billions of dollars. Black America will spend billions of dollars this holiday season. No schools for the children. No schools. Very few real schools like this one. Real building, real school, relevant institution, very few of those. Almost no black hospitals. Almost no black supermarkets selling real food. Almost no black real banks. But we got billions to spend on video games, billions to spend on clothing, billions to spend on sneakers. Black power. We got billions to waste on all kinds of irrelevant nonsense. That's what we about to do right now. That's what we about to do right now. The economic holocaust. The economic holocaust. The economic holocaust. I wanna ask black parents who shop in today five questions. I wanna ask black parents who shop in today five questions. Is your son reading on grade level? Does he have an A or a B in all major classes? Is your daughter reading on grade level? Does she have an A and a B? An A or a B in all major classes? What about that math? What about that algebra? What about that language? What about that arts? Because if your children ain't got A's and B's and you raising African babies in America, and you out here going broke to buy things they don't even need and has nothing to do with their future success that you part of the school to prison pipeline. You part of the school to prison pipeline. If your child got an IEP for reading a math, what the hell you doing buying video games for? If your child has an IEP for reading a math, behavior problem and you out buying toys and guess what they probably already got too many see this is what you call conditioning black children for conspicuous consumption that's what we do conditioning black children for conspicuous consumption that's what we do conditioning black children for conspicuous consumption what you out shopping for wait time out do you have enough money to pay for trade school do you have enough money to pay for college how that life insurance looking? How that trust fund looking? Do they have enough money to bury you? Do you have enough money to bury them? God forbid, if somebody leaves early. I'm talking about the economics, brothers and sisters. Are we taking care of the business that we need to be taking care of instead of being out here shopping, buying a whole bunch of things that we don't really need? That's the question that I'm asking. That's the question that I'm asking. It's sad. And then we going to beg the government for reparations after you just gave them billions of dollars. Then we going to go beg the government for reparations after you just invested in the white power structure to the tune of billions of dollars holiday season. And this ain't got nothing to do with no Christmas because your kids don't go to church. 
and they don't even believe in Jesus. So don't give me that crap. Don't tell me this is about Christmas. Your kids don't go to church and don't believe in Jesus. Neither do you. So we ain't going to use the don't 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 bring Jesus Christ into this. Please don't bring the black Christ of Ethiopia. Don't bring the brute, the blue black Christ of Ethiopia into this right here. The highways is packed up. The malls is packed up. Y'all was lined up last night like a bunch of slaves fighting to get on the slave ship. Y'all was outside of Walmart, outside of Kitty City, outside of the shopping malls last night at midnight. You look like slaves fighting to get on the slave ship. I call it the economic holocaust. I call it the economic holocaust. And then y'all turn around and say, Dr. Umar, are you going to have scholarships at FDMG? Do y'all turn around and say, Dr. Umar, are you going to have scholarships at FDMG? And then y'all turn around and say, Dr. Umar, are you going to have scholarships at FDMG? Did you ask the weave shop for a scholarship? Did you ask the video game store for a scholarship? Did you ask the Arab clothing stores you about to buy all them clothes from? Did you ask them for a scholarship? You ain't asked them for no scholarship. I know you didn't go to the video game store and ask them, was there any scholarships for the video games? Was there any discounts on the video games? See, Negroes finance what they want and beg for what they need. That's what children do. Negroes buy what they want and beg for what they need. That's what children do. We are the economic infants of white America. I'm going to say it again because I want you to understand, overstand and understand what I'm saying right now. We are the economic infants of white America. Does anybody understand what I'm saying? Do you understand, overstand and understand King Kong consciousness right now? Listen to what I just said. We are the economic infants of white America. An infant can't take care of themselves. An infant isn't thinking about taking care of themselves. An infant can't feed themselves. An infant can't clothe themselves. An infant can't build its own institutions. An infant can't take care of its needs. An infant must rely on the mother's breasts, the father's nurture. Adults provide for themselves. And when I say provide for themselves, I don't mean individually. I mean as a race, as a culture, as a people, as a nation, as a community. Where is the self-sufficiency at? We are the economic infants of white America. We are the economic infants of white America, brothers and sisters. That's what we are. The economic infants of white America. We the economic infants of Chinese America. We the economic infants of Jewish America. We the economic infants of Arab America. We the economic infants of the East Indians of America. We are consumer. Do you know that consumer economically is the equivalent of slave politically? Did you know consumer economically is the equivalent of slave politically? Did you know consumer economically is the equivalent of slave politically? Do you understand me, Africans? You out spending billions of dollars on clothes, hair, video games, sneakers, tablets, but if you die today, your child got to start a GoFundMe to bury your ass. I said you out spending billions, thousands, 